What are we going to make today? You might call it a stuffed onion. I call it the best onion bombs you'll ever have. Now this whole onion bomb thing's been around forever, right? But I think you'll see that what I'm going to do today is just a little bit different. Down here is, uh, is it called the root end? You know, where the way it grows down. You just want to kind of cut that off flat. Okay. We want these onions to sit up like that on the smoker. All right. So let me get that out of the way. And then we're going to come in here and just make a similar cut across the top. Okay. Get the peeling off. this little corver, right? So what I like to do is just come in and do a circle around the guy, core it out, and then I'll come in with the spoon behind it and um, scoop it out, right? Now, it probably goes without saying, you don't want to go too deep. You don't want to poke a hole through this onion, right? So, you know, just be careful. It's better to kind of go slow and not so deep until you, you know, get a feel for it, all right? All right, now, it's got a regular old tablespoon here. Just come in here and I start scooping it out. All right, you can take your knife. You want to make it just a little bit bigger around up here on the top. Again, just be careful. You don't want to cut yourself or you don't want to go too deep in the onion, obviously. That's my dog in the background. Okay. And again, if you had the right tools for this, it would go just a little bit faster. But you can see here, I've already done three. You can get it done this way also. Now you can see we're starting to make some pretty good progress, right? Now I hope that comes out okay. We got a nice little bowl there, right? So now you just—I mean, you can use this onion for something else if you, uh, you know, got something else you want to cook. That's all the onion that we're going to need. This is 80-20 ground chuck. We got two-thirds to three-quarters of a cup of chopped up mushrooms there. I've got one big jalapeno, oh. Sorry. twice, okay. And for my rub today, I hope you can see that, Slaps Barbecue. You guys know Slaps? It's a pretty famous Kansas City barbecue joint. They got like over uh, 3,000 Google reviews, positive reviews that is. Okay, so I'm probably putting two tablespoons, all right? Now you just want to get this mixed in. And like I say, because we got those onions, the bottoms are in the onions, you don't need egg or uh, panko crumbs, whatever. You don't need any kind of binders or fillers, which I personally don't care for that much. Okay, and I think that'll be good enough. So now we're just going to get one of those onions here, filled up with our burger. And by the way, right now, if you wanted to stuff it with cheese, it'd be a perfect time to stuff it. We're going to use some cheese, but I'm going to do it a little bit different today. Okay? So there's one. Let me get these bad boys stuffed up. I'm working on my second one here, and I am trying to stuff it down pretty good. Okay? And you can see that 1.2 pounds a burger, had this, you know, it's sticking up a little bit, but I didn't want to waste it, and I didn't want to go in and clean out another onion, so we're going to go with it, okay? Now, let me get this glove off, get it in here, and I'm going to come back in with a little bit of my rub, just right on top. Now, you don't have to, but I like to have that extra rub. 
Yeah, I'm going to take each one of these guys, wrap it in bacon. I know, I know you know why. Bacon makes everything better. Okay. We're going to need about two pieces for honey. secure this and I got about a third and half of a third piece here. I'll probably go in here and just let me get them wrapped up like that. And then we'll go in and I'll get some toothpicks just to kind of help hold it all in place. But you get the gist. It's going to be on these big onions. It's going to be two to three pieces of bacon per onion. And I like to let this bacon sit out about a half hour. It makes it more pliable, flexible, whatever you want to call it, you can stretch it better. How about that? Okay, so let me just come in here. I'm going to finish wrapping this one, wrap these other two. We've got these guys all wrapped up. Now I'm just going to come in here, put a toothpick in where the bacon ends on it, just to kind of help hold it in place, one or two. Right where the, you see how the Right here, how the piece of bacon stops. That's where it ran out. Just going to put it in there. Okay. And I've got this pit ball set on 300 degrees. It usually runs around 280. Okay. I'm going to put them down here on the right end. I think I've shown you before my heat source is down here. And you can see I did go ahead and put some of that rub on the outside of that bacon also. Okay. So we're just going to get them bad boys on here. And I'm using hickory wood today. Oh, it's going to take them an hour or more. We'll check on them in one hour. I shouldn't say hickory wood, hickory pellets. It's been one hour. You can see that we're just by looking. We're nowhere even close for these guys being done. We'll check back and look here. You can see on this one where I didn't overlap the bacon enough and we've got a little gap there with the onion. Anyway, it'll still taste fine. We'll check back another 30 to 45 minutes it's been an hour and 40 minutes. These are about up to 155. We're going to use that same slaps, slaps barbecue sauce. We use the slaps rub. And then this is totally optional. But I'm going to come in here. I love this. This is this uh, hot sauce, whiskey smoked ghost pepper sauce. Okay. So I'm just going to come in here. First thing I'm going to do is just sprinkle just a little bit. This is not a really hot sauce, by the way, but it tastes incredible. I like eating it on sandwiches with my lunch meat. And then what we're going to do is come in with that barbecue sauce. Okay? You want to get the sides of this bacon all over the top. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but you can just see the juice coming out of that burger. Okay? We just want to get these guys all barbecue sauced up. We're going to get the lid down, and I'm guessing they're going to be done in 20 to 30 more minutes. Okay, we got our sauce all on here. Now we're going to come in here. That's right, I told you before, you could stuff these with cheese. I'm going to top them with cheese. You know, you just know how awesome this is going to be. This is just mild cheddar. Okay. Yeah. Let's get the lid down. I can't wait. We're at 20 more minutes. You can see we're at 166, almost 167. Okay. We're gonna get these off here. Look, do they not look gorgeous? Look, look, just look at the color on them. Oh, let me get these off. They've been resting 10 minutes. <laughs> I feel like a kid at a candy store. They look so awesome, I just want to try it out, okay? All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna cut one right down the middle. There we go. 
and just open it up for you so you can see it. Oop, I didn't cut it all the way. I should have done that, shouldn't I? There we go. There's what she looks like in the middle. Oh, you can see I didn't get that toothpick out. We got it now. All right. And see, we got that nice thick wall of onion there. Can you see that? Yeah. Even got us. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is get a little bacon. Get that ground beef with the mushroom and the jalapeno. A little bit of that onion with the cheese. Right? Oh, didn't get any cheese. Sorry it's taking me so long, but there's a lot of stuff here to cut. Let's give it a try. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, Tammy's not here so I can say this out loud. These are better than her onion bombs. Why? A couple reasons. One, a thicker onion, you get more onion flavor, and it's sweet. It's almost like we put sugar in it. That's how sweet it is. Absolutely fantastic. I could eat just the onion. That's how good it is. That is how good. Mmm. That slaps sauce is a, a sweet Kansas City style sauce. That bacon is cooked to perfection. I hope you guys give this a try. It's worth every bit of the prep effort. It's incredible. Thanks so much for watching.